Well, how do you do to YouTubers? Today, I'm in the Royal Victoria Park in Bath, in the, where is it to? The Bath Botanical Gardens. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try a short cinematic shoot, the Sony ZV-1 and the Xeon M2 Crane Gimbal, which I've had for a few months now. And when I first purchased these, I'd never had a gimbal before, and I did find it quite bewildering, trying to do the setup and balancing. Um, same with the camera, there's so many settings to go through. I've got to grips on a little bit now, I'm still learning of course. So what I'm going to do now is attempt to make a short cinematic film, all shot in 120 frames per second, so I can slow the, the clips down to 20%. Right, from the first shot, I've got this lovely building here, I'm going to get a uh, shot of Michelle walking past. So before I start, I'm just going to tell you, what I've got here is the uh, attached to the gimbal is an uh, extendable pole carbon fiber one so we're gonna do some try some crane shots in a minute that'd be fun right, so what I'm gonna do is keep the camera moving at all times and go well, I found another good location just here this little hoop thing so what I'm gonna do is get Michelle to walk through it and I'm gonna start back here I'm gonna have the camera follow going through these leaves what I like is as I'm pushing forward, so I have lots of things close to the camera. It just looks more nicer. Right, I found a lovely tree just here. I'm gonna take a couple of B-roll shots as well. Just pushing through. That's why I got this telescopic pole. So what I'm gonna do is try and push it through. There's like a hole in the middle. It's a few holes actually. Yeah, so I might have I might have you walk back towards that hoop again, but I'm just shoot it from this angle and look going through there. And just keep walking towards me. Like. Quite tricky get that one. I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> what a complete setup, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Next place. <laughs> okay, for this shot, we'll do a pull back through these branches. If we look here, so I'm going to start off in the gap through there, and then I've got that framed. So I can see you. as I can to the floor and then just lift up to reveal this lovely tree. Here we go. I'm going to make sure that I can walk slightly faster than normal because remember I'm slowing the picture down 20%. So if I walk normal speed, slow that down to 20%, it'd be like I'm hardly moving. Right, here we go. Past recording, yes. That's one shot. Okay, final shot. I'm just going to slowly move backwards. Yes. Okay, and that's a wrap. Okay, I'm back inside now. I've put all the footage on the computer. I've had a quick look, and I've got some nice shots that I'm pleased with. But I also did make a few mistakes. All my fault, I think. I had some focusing problems. I think I left it on manual focus a couple of times by mistake. There was another shot of Michelle's close-up of Michelle's face where it wasn't quite focused. I'm not sure if that's because of the, um, the sunglasses she was wearing. So on the Sony ZV-1, there is eye tracking focus. So whether that played a part in it, I don't know. Another classic mistake I made is that I thought I'd press the record button 
and I hadn't. So these shots here show me recording absolutely nothing. It's a shame because I think these shots would have been quite good. Also another thing, I didn't quite set this gimbal up correctly and um, I had the framing off on a few of the shots as this one will show. I got Michelle's head completely missing. Oops, never mind. <laughs> I took a few test shots a few days earlier and the sun was much lower. And so I think next time I do something like this, I will go for much lower sunshine, some just more muted colors and shadows. But overall, I'm very pleased with the gimbal and the camera. The gimbal especially, it really does keep the shot steady. Without it, I, I'd be all over the place. I, the horizon would be going all over the place. With my GoPro, that's got stabilization built into it, but it doesn't correct the horizontal. So I do get problems with that sometimes. So this the gimbal is absolutely brilliant. No problems at all. The camera got loads of features on it. I'm still learning that. So I'm gradually getting my way around that. But the one feature I really do like on this camera that not many people spoke about is the beauty feature effect. Now, I've got it already turned on. I don't know if you can see, but it really does smooth out any wrinkles or bad features on your face. It's amazing, really. Watch, if I turn it off, you'll see the difference. See what I mean? You know, I just don't like how I really look in real life, so I'm gonna turn it back on. That's better. Vanity, you know. Anyway, that's the end of this video. See you next time.